Hey everybody, it's me Eric again. How's everybody doing today? Well, wait till you guys see what I got today. I was all excited. Well, I got it yesterday. Um, I got some more yarn on the sell site. So um, I had to go meet her somewhere not in my town, maybe about an hour away, whatever. And I paid for one bag of mixed yarn. Okay, I'll kind of show you. And then she's like, do you want more? I go, you got more? She goes, yeah, take it all. I'm like, no way. So one bag of yarn turned into three bags of yarn. And they are a mix between like baby yarns, new yarns, used yarn. So I'll show you guys what I got. So this is like the first one I think I paid for. This one was a mixed one. And then there was, besides this one, that one, and this one. See the mixed lot? You guys can kind of see it. So I will go through and show you guys what I got. All right, let's start with this bag. So this bag has some faux furs in it, a black faux fur. That one doesn't have any um, label on it. Here's like a, a brown faux fur. Then there's like this blue, blue baby yarn. Here's like a yellow, like a really light yellow baby yarn. This is a Red Heart Super Saver. I am not sure of the color. Corn cornmeal. Color is cornmeal. Never seen that one before. Um, another one. Some older yarns in here too. This one was a uh, pink. This is a I don't know if we call it Bella. Super wash, knit worsted, machine washable, like pink. And then. Here's another like white, sparkly white, like a baby yarn. I'm not even sure on the size of this one, but it's an older brand. White baby yarn. Then there's more of this yellowish color. Like a light yellow. Here's some more faux fur with uh, specks or something in that one. Let's see. Some more of that light yellow again. Here is some pink, bulkier pink. Not sure what brand this one is. It's like a bulkier pink. Ooh, look at this one, you guys. This is Red Heart Super Saver in pink. I don't know if this one's got a name. Oh, baby pink. Yeah, I would definitely call that a baby pink. Look at that pretty pink. And then this is kind of like a, I don't know what type of this is. This might have probably a little bit of wool in it. Feels like wool. That's a totally different kind. Then I got this one. is a mixed. Looks like a Red Heart Super Saver. It doesn't have a, a thing on it, but it it's one of those. Some more fur foes. Fur, fur foes. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but these things. Then there is this one. This is an older brand, too. I've never heard of this brand. This is more like a goldish goldish color more faux fur this one's like uh, reds and oranges let's see some more baby yarn this one I'm not sure I think this is a red heart super saver it's a multicolor one baby colors so I got that one here's another baby baby yarn multicolor one no label, but I'm pretty sure this is a Red Heart Super Saver. It looks like it. Um, here's more of that faux fur stuff. I know some people like this stuff, but I don't know. I am not too thrilled with this stuff. I really don't like it. Got red. A nice deep red. Um, got a white. This looks like the homespun, like uh, what do you call it? Lion Brand homespun white. Ugh, more of that foam fur, foam fur. Let's see, got a really pretty blue. I don't know if this one's got a name. Oh, Skipper Blue, Skipper Blue Red Heart. 
red heart. Skipper blue. Then I got like a like a pink. Like a pinkish color one. Um, let's see. More of that fur faux thing. This one's like a green sparkly. This one's like a feathered one. Um, here's just a white. Just a white one. Here's a pretty purple. That's a pretty purple one. There is... Ooh, this one's a velvet. I have a few velvets, not a lot, but this one's like a maroon, maroon velvet. Definitely a maroon velvet. Another one of those furry things. And then, like a light pink one of these. I think I had one of those before. Let's go through this one next. Alright, if I can get it open, right? Here's like a... Oh. I don't know. This is... Never seen this. This is definitely an old kind. This is called Coates and Clark. Definitely some wool in here. Uh, mole hair? Ooh, I never used this before. It's an old, old one. Um... Ooh, I like, I like Vanna's, Vanna's choice. It's very soft yarn. I've used her yarn before. Um, she is by Lion Brand. And this one is like a, I would say more like a brown, brownish orange, or they call it Rust. So this name of this one is Rust. I like that one. Um, here's some really thin red. Ooh, here's some more of the velvet. This one's more like an, uh, Couple different shades of brown. Oh, got some of these. I got a lot of these around. These are those thick velvet burnet burnet ones, I think they're called. Here's some really kind of cool pink, like a bright pink. This is probably Red Heart Super Saver. I don't know the name of this one. This is a multicolor one. I think I have some other one of these. Oh, here's another velvet. A velvet one. Then there's a white one. A small one. It's called City Limits Crystal Place. Almost feels like uh, this almost feels like cotton. Well, it's partial cotton. It's 35% cotton. 30% linen. Something I don't think I would ever use. <laughs> um, another red. Hi, Red Heart Super Saver. It doesn't have a label, but pretty sure that's what it is. Here's like a green, like a thin, thin green one. Um, blue, like almost a navy blue. That's a pretty one. Um, here's like a yellow, yellow older one. Um, here's a white. A white old one. Wow. This one looks super old. Look at that. I don't know. I might just want to keep it just for looks and never use it. I don't know if this is one of the oldest yarns I've ever found. In these mixed bags, you never know what they are. They could have been people's yarns sitting in their basements. You know, you never know. That one I might just keep for looks. So I kind of like that one. Let's see what else we got in here. Some more of this yellow. I'm not sure what kind this is. It's definitely a lot thinner. Probably a two. And it doesn't have a label. And it almost has like different sizes to it. Like it almost goes like a little thin, a little thicker, a little thin. So I could not even tell you what kind this is. But someone made something out of it. They used partial of it. Um, black. Just a solid black. Oh, here's a really cool pink. I actually like that pink. It's a pretty pink. Let's see. Ooh. Look at this, my friends. These are those things that are on wheels, really thin ones. I'm not sure. 
about these yet. I've never really made anything. Everybody knows about these. Let me know because I've never really done things with the thin, thin stuff. Someone said you can make like maybe doilies with it. I don't know. If you guys know what you make with the thin stuff, please let me know because I don't know. I never really used any thin stuff before. Oh, there's a small black one. Ah, oh, this one's more of a orangish red, I think. Um, ooh, this is another old, old yarn. It is called Dawn. That's my mom's name, Dawn Baby Yarn. Made for booties, mittens, sweaters, caps. Ooh, this is an old vintage one. I wonder if it even says the year on it. It's called Buttercup, Buttercup, and it was only 39 cents. Look at that, 39 cents. You cannot find yarn for 39 cents anymore. I think the cheapest yarn you can maybe find is a dollar, 75 cents maybe here and there, but never 39. Oh, I might just keep this one for looks too. Actually, I wanted to do that. If I got rare vintage um, yarns, I like to display them because I think it's so neat to find something like this old from the year. Uh, old, old thing. And the thing is, I don't think they have the year on these. I wish they would put the year on these, and I don't think this one has a year on it. I don't see it. It just says America's Thread Company Dawn Baby Yarn. It's called Buttercup because it's like a little yellow. But it does not say the year. But I'm telling you, this is old. This is definitely called vintage yarn. I have another little vintage yarn over there. Let's see. Oh, here's another vintage yarn. This one is another one of those uh, by Dawn threads, 39 cents. This one's white. Put that one over there. Let's see. Ooh, we got some of this like yellowish orange. Let's see. Ooh, look at this pretty color. Red Heart Super Saver. This is color Light Mint. Light Mint. I like that one. Here's another Red Heart Super Saver. This one is called Hot Red. Hot Red. That one looks pretty good. Um, here is another Red Heart Super Saver Green. Two small ones or a couple of them combined. That's a nice one. Here's some red. Ooh, I'm kind of knocking over my bag. Look at this one. This one is a multicolor one. This one is called watercolor with like purples and greens. I like that one. And then there's a red one that fell down there. Okay, let's see. I think there's two more in here. Then I got one more bag. And then there's like a blue and a red. A blue and a red. Let's see. What do we have in this last bag, my friends, my friends, my friends. Let's see. Someone actually started a project. Almost looks like a scarf. Now, I have a lot of this. I don't remember the name of this yarn. It's one of these multicolor skeins, but it's, I think it's the one that you get from Joann's. I'm pretty positive, which I can't remember the name. And if you look at it, it looks like they were maybe making a scarf. I am not sure. Wherever they did, they actually tied it off, I think. so. But there's so much more. I can make so much more out of this. That was a good deal. And then I got some more of that thin stuff again. And this time I got it in the brown. So I have it in brown. I have it in white. And then, wait you guys see the next one. This one's my favorite out of the three that I got. This one's my favorite. Wait you guys see this one. <gasps> sparkly blue. Look at the sparkle in that. Oh, I am not sure about these cones. I've never really had these cones before. Um, like I said... I've never really used them. This one's got a little dust on it, maybe a little dirt, like it's probably been sitting somewhere if I can clean it. And this, again, is a very thin, sorry, this is a very thin, thin yarn. Thin is the white and the brown, but I love the sparkle in this. So I'm not sure what to do 
with the thin, thin ones yet. But you never know what you can make with the thin ones. All right. Ooh, here's another one of the cones. And this one is in blue. See, it's another one of those cones. And this one is blue. Look at that one. I'm not sure what to do with these guys. Let me know, please. I like to learn new things. I mean, I'm not very good at patterns yet, but I will get there. I will, I will, I will. Ooh, another one of those big fuzzy ones. This one is in multicolor browns. That'll be neat to make something out of that. Ooh, look at this old yarn. Oh, some of these vintage yarns I just want to display. Or, you know what I should do, but I have not done this yet? I think someone was selling a shadow box. I would love to get a shadow box and put some of these old yarns in a shadow box. This should display or even put it in my living room. That would look really cool. This one is uh, a Red Heart Orlin Fashion Glow. It must have been one of the first, like, um, glitter or whatever yarns. I love that. I'm totally keeping that to display. Like I said, I have other yarns, too. I want to definitely maybe get a shadow box for some of these older yarns. Um, let's see what else is in here. I don't know what this is. It's one of those uh, boutique ribbons, Red Heart. I have no idea what to make with these. I have never made anything with these, have no clue what to do with these. I don't ever really use those. And then there's another one, but this one's like in more of a red than a black. Um, I think there's some more older yarn in here again. There is quite a bit of this white. Ooh, look at this vintage one. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm raking in the vintage yarn today. Oof. Ugh. That kind of splatted in my face. Piece of dirt. Now this one. Oh, 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 oh. oh my, oh my. You never know what you're going to find. This is called Cynthia Baby Bee Yarn. This is 100% wool. But it doesn't say the year. And the color is just a number. But oh my goodness. Look at how old that is. That's another one I want to put in a little shadow box and display some of these old vintage yarns. I can't. It'd be so cool to have like a shadow box. If I make it, you guys, and put the shadow box together, maybe next time I go to store. I don't know. I need to look into, um, tell you the truth. I have a small Joann's by me, and I don't even know if Walmart would have shadow boxes. I go look at Walmart or Joann's by me and see if they do have a shadow box or I can get a coupon for it. And then I really want to put these yarns in a shadow box. I think it would be so cool to display the old vintage yarns that you cannot even find anymore. That probably been sitting in people's boxes and basements for years. So I'm going to definitely keep those safe somewhere and definitely get a box and try to put them together. And I think it'll be really cool. All right, next one. I don't know what these are. These, I think, are another older, thinner, whiter white. Now, these got definitely a mixture of cotton and maybe polyester in them. There are, I don't know how many there is. There's one, two, like three. This is another old, or maybe it's this one that's an old one. I don't know if this other white one has even a label on it. Does the old white one have the label? Or did I throw one with the label in here? Oh, I don't know. I don't see the other old one. No, I don't see there. I thought there was another. I'm going to keep this one. This one, oh my goodness, look at it. It is Burnett Three Ply Baby Wool. Oh, it's another old vintage one. But you guys, I don't know. There's this white stuff. What is this? Ooh, here's something really old, you guys. Wow. This is called um, Chad Wicks, like thread. Old, old thread. And it looks like it's wrapped on a cardboard. That's pretty cool. That goes in with it. I can't find the label to that other one. Ooh, here's some reds. Here's some reds. Those look really cool. I like those. 
I don't know about these white ones, though. I can't figure out another red one. Well, let's see. What is this? This is like a blue, a blue thin one. And then there's this one. This one's, I don't know, it doesn't have a label. It ha I, feel, I feel like it has wool. I think this has wool. Partial wood in this. Pa partial wool, sorry, in this. I'm pretty positive this one does. And then there is one of these. Actually, I got probably quite a few of these ones. And then, let's see, one more. A uh, really thin yellow, maybe like an older yellow. So, I don't know some of these older ones. I kind of maybe need to go through that other box to see what I'm going to kind of get rid of or sell to because I'm not keeping everything, especially some of the stuff I know I will not use are super thin. But I am very blessed with these cones. Like I said, please, let me pull one up again. If you know what to make with these thin yarns, the cones, please let me know. I am very new to cones. I have never made anything with thin, thin yarn like this. So please, please let me know what you make with these thin, thin yarns, okay? All right, you guys, let me know in the comments what you make would make with the thin yarn. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen any of these, or let me know in the comments if you've seen some of this old yarn. I mean, some of this is definitely vintage. Oh, I mean, you can't, I don't even want to use it. I want to display it. I want to display the old, old yarn. I mean, think about it. Yarn has been around for a long time. Probably even way before I was born, yarn's been around. And it's just really cool to see old vintage yarn that you could probably never find anywhere else. Or sometimes you find the old vintage yarn like at antique stores. Um, my, my mother loves antiquing, and I don't think I've ever even found old vintage yarn at antique stores. But like I said, yarn, whoa, yarn has been around a very long time. I really like this one. I mean, you can you imagine? I mean, think how old that could be. Huh. Like I said, if I do the shadow box thing, you guys, I promise I'll put it all together and then I'll show you guys what it looks like and do a little video on my shadow box when I get to it, okay? All right, you guys, leave comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks for part being a part of my channel. And we will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.